the zipper. So now we're going to follow along on number 13 for our making our zipper. What you need to do is you need to mark how long the zipper is, make a, a dot. Then we're going to sew from the bottom up to that dot with a regular 5A 2.5 and we're going to baste this part here. Make a note, it does say to seam finish your seam allowance and we will do that after and for purposes of school I'd like you to use the serger if you're at home and do not have a serger you'll use a multi zigzag. I'm going to place my good sides together lining up my notches and my top and I'm going to pin that first. You notice the way I pinned the top and the bottom, they should be cut the same length and then this way you know it's going to be even at the bottom. Now I'm going to take a look at my zipper. So here it is. I'm going to place the top in line with the top and then the bottom. The key is we want to make sure we stop before the stopper. If your zipper is longer, then you can always shorten it. And again, take a look at the sample that we did in class. So I'm going to mark the end point of my zipper right here, which means I'm going to do a baste stitch along here. And then from this dot down to the bottom, I'm going to do my regular stitching. So I'm going to start from my dot and I'm going to work down towards the bottom using a 5A 2.5. I'm going to back stitch because I'm going to go down towards the bottom of my skirt. And that's going to indicate where the end of my zipper is going to be. So here I've back stitched. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to baste stitch from where I'm actually going to place my zipper. So we're going to do a 5A4. Again, following a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance and do not back stitch. I'm going to press my seam open so that I can then seam finish each side. So I'm going to press this open, just a quick press. Make sure you're really getting so that the seam is completely open. Okay. And now we're ready to seam finish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to seam finish one side using a multi zigzag and the other side using a serger. So you can do a 5D 1.5. And the key is we want to make sure we're just overlapping. One thing I've found, if you have a Janome like this, you can line up the edge of your fabric right with that one over eight mark. And that will allow your multi zigzag to go directly over that fabric. You can see how the needle is just coming to the outside of my fabric. And that's exactly what you want. And don't forget to trim your threads. So I'm going to serge the second side. Really important that you are pushing everything out of the side so that you are only serging that edge. You want to line up your fabric right along this edge part here of the serger 
and then you can see that you've got your knife and it will cut it. Now if you don't want to do it this way, you can always do it so that you can see both edges. I think I'll do this way instead. Again, keeping your fingers underneath, you want to make sure that you're not catching any of this fabric underneath. So really important to always keep a finger down here and you're pushing your fabric under. You might have to really push with your finger because it kind of wants to stick a little bit. And there we have our serged side. So one side is serged, one side is zigzagged. Now we're ready to uh, put in our zipper. So we're gonna attach our zipper foot. Go back to a straight stitch, 5A, and we'll just do a three. We're just gonna baste it in place. Before we start, we need to line up our zipper so that it lays nice and even. Raw, good side of the zipper goes against the fabric and we're just going to pin it into place right along the side seams. Okay. And to place our zipper in, remember we're going to follow the coils right along the seam. Now I'm ready to do my sewing. You do have your zipper tab up at the front. You might have to push that down just a little bit to get going, but we'll take a look. I think we'll be okay for now. come to the end of the tape making sure you're just going through your seam allowance and your zipper Now we're ready to top stitch our zipper and our zipper is going to be is here and we're going to top stitch a box all the way around. What I want to do is I want to mark where the end of my zipper is where I need to go across. So I'm going to come to the inside and I'm going to take a look at where the end of my zipper is and I'm going to come up a bit of maybe about half an inch, so two centimeters to three centimeters. So you can see here is where I back stitch, so I want to make sure when I'm sewing across that I come in front of that. So I'm going to stick a pin in right here and that's going to remind me that when I do my box that I want to turn there. Your instructions as well will show you exactly what it is that we are doing. So number 14 was your basting and now we're on to 15 and we're sewing our box. You need to have your zipper foot for this. If you don't, it's gonna be really difficult to get a nice even stitch line. I'm gonna use a 5A3. I like to lengthen my outer stitch when I do a top stitching. So I'm gonna line up the outside of my zipper foot with my seam line. But what I need to do first of all is I need to move my zipper tab. So this gets a bit hard to pull it up again, but we'll manage. So I pull it down about halfway. Okay, and I'm going to back stitch to begin with. And I'm just lining up the edge of that presser foot right along that seam line. Okay, so you can see right along there. Thank you. 
Here is my zipper tab. So before I reach it, I'm going to make sure my needle is in the down position. I'm going to lift up my presser foot and you might need to lift it up even higher and we're going to grab our zipper tab. So to get this, I'm going to pull up a little bit from the outside. And sometimes you can use your scissors to help you. Just be careful that you're not going to ruin your fabric. So here I can see my zipper tab here. As long as it's pointing upwards, I can grab that. So here's where I want to turn the corner. Be really careful stitching over top. Okay, I like to hand wheel. If you've got uh, nylon, it's fine. So I've gone two, one direction. I'm gonna go two stitches. And then I'm gonna test it out to make sure that when I come down again, my foot is right along that seam line, and it is. Now I'm coming to the top again where I have my zipper tab. I'm gonna lift up. And I'm simply going to push this down, take your scissors and just try to find that tab, hook into it and push it down away and finish off. And so here I have created my box. Now it would look better obviously if I didn't use black. A uh, little bit of a bump here. My fabric is actually a little bit stretchy. So um, next time what I would do is I would pull a bit more from the opposite side. So with your stitch ripper, we can take our stitches apart. And we should be able to see our zipper. And there we have our zipper for the back. What I'm looking for is that you do not see your end point to your zipper here, okay? And that the zipper is laying right in the center of your seam. You can give it just a quick press to relax everything. And now we're finished. <laughs>